Okay, good morning, everyone. Good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're joining in from. It's a cold morning in Lagos, Nigeria, raining cat and dog. <laughs> and it's good to have you all. Um, so I'm going to be your host today, Kingsley, and my co-host will be Mary B. <laughs> she's not a designer, but yeah, she's there. She's a um, community architect and um, a designer in the making, probably, but not in works. <laughs> Okay, so we've not had this call for some time now, and um, we took a little break. Um, Elizabeth mentioned the summer break thing. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. I am safe, just in case you thought that I am, I am safe. So, um, so Elizabeth talked about this summer break thing, and generally i don't know if the summer break is over i'm not sure yet but i, I know i've been getting some buzz on like dms you know work related and people asking some questions so i thought about just having a call maybe some persons can just share feedback and stuff and also the fact that we did put out a feedback form right so i noticed um, a lot of persons join the community and not being able to okay yeah thank you Mary B that's why you're my co-host so um a lot of persons did join um the community and then not able to contribute to projects or contributing or just having one issue or the other so the whole idea of sending out the people from uh, you can check it on the channel just in case you missed it. Maybe just fill the form, right? It's to be able to get people's perspective, right? As to how we can move forward, how we can do things better, right? Things we can also export design-wise to also get everyone involved, right? Um, so that's about it for the feedback form. And um, another feedback I have to give is uh, for our first project, we really don't have so much again to do on that project in terms of design, um, because most of what is needed for the execution has been done. Um, when I had a call, at the moment you choose to suspend the dashboard design and everything relating to the dashboard, right? Which was actually part of the design I was spending. So I had a call with um, Desmond of VC. I think his name is Desmond, yeah. So we had a call just discussing the project. So um, so we have um, a landing page already, right? I think it's a version of it that it's even live. So the idea is um, when a user submits their open source project on the just submit their open source project from the landing page. I think, yeah, we'll need a form. I don't know, was it Telema? I asked for open a form or there was someone, I can't really remember. Telema is zero. So we, the, when the user signs up or submits their project, the information about their project, right, on the landing page, that's going to open up an issue on, um, Afo's um GitHub repository, right? And then um the reviewer on the other end is gonna review it on GitHub. And when the project is being approved, it's gonna go live, right, on our website. So that has just to cut off the need for the dashboard and then having to manage um having um data, having to manage data that will be coming in. So it's just to you know, walk around for something much more cost effective eventually. So you don't just keep accumulating data you don't need, right? So that's for our first project. And um then for it's not right. Um I got some feedback, but I'm not so sure about what I heard, but then um I know had some Awesome work has been going on uh, with Lamy and Emmanuel. Uh, though, yeah, there was some stuff Emmanuel shared with me. 
I wouldn't want to share because I'm not so very sure about that as regards uh, the courting's feedback, right? So that will be on the hold for now. But there are other stuff just growing up, right? And um, some other submissions I made. So for now, I'm just gonna pause here. So I'm going to be the only one talking. Then, um, can you all hear the thunder from here? Hi, can anyone, can anyone hear me? Yeah, we can. There's a um, vibration at the back. Damn, serious. Uh, okay, so, um, yeah, what again? So I said I was going to pause here and give every other person an opportunity to tell me what you're working on. Chaos or non chaos related, if you're also interested in talking about and, uh, uh, Yeah, so maybe at the other end, I probably can talk about any other pending stuff we can jump on. Yeah, so I don't know anybody interested in going first. Yeah. Okay, maybe. Thank you so much. Over to you. Well, um, thank you. Um, so I just want to say it's uh, sorry I'm not like giving feedback for a long time. I think the Alpha's project you mentioned, I I was sure to be the one, but what I was like going through at home was just too too much at that time. So um sorry about not giving feedback or like losing communication, and all, and um I, I would I would love to get back on the project. But I think you said the project has been paused and there is no um movement. Listen, there's no. There, there is nothing new yet. So I, I well, I would love, I would love um a, a breakdown of, of anything new, and I'll, I'll reach out to Desmond and um Belema for for updates for anything they might have, and if there's any more requirements, I would, I'd be happy to help. Um, what what I'm working on personally, well, is um, I'm working on two things. Um, an e-learning platform that uses um AI to improve um. An ability for for kids, and uh, and the church app. <laughs> I think I'm I'm one of the two Nigerians that is designing a church app. So and that's all. You say one of the two Nigerians. Who's the other person? Felix. <laughs> the other person is definitely an agency because <laughs> I don't know anybody that designs church app. <laughs> well, um, let me show you. I I think uh, was it like you? Was it last year? Yeah. I think it was last day, yeah, a friend did reach out. It wasn't an app anyway, it was just a landing page, all right? A simple landing page where, you know, church members can also give offerings, you know, do stuff and that. So, yeah, I worked on that. Wow. So. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I don't... I don't believe in coincidences, but I I bet that it's the same church. You bet I believe, bro. Uh, no, 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 it doesn't do oh, okay. Pentecostal, right. Pentecostal uh, Church. Uh, okay, very nice. Um, uh, Ruben, you want to say something? Um, yeah, uh, um, okay, okay, um, Please go, go ahead, Ruben. Yeah, okay. The last time we had a call, I know I informed the house that I was seeing product design training. So presently now I want a first project that is my training project. I think the co the core of ends this month. So we are working I'm working on a real estate app. That's what I'm doing first now. And then concerning the project I will say are we having a new one since this other one is being paused? So, we oh no, like, I would love to draw the entire information architecture of any project we we'll work on now, or let me just say, I'll be contributing to that one for now. So, maybe I'm done with my training and I'll give myself a new. Um, a new challenge. Well, hope beginners like us too, we have 
we have um, we have the liberty or I would actually we have the grace of also contributing to the project. Hello, can you hear me? Okay, that yeah, I can hear you, Rebecca. That makes sense. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, that's also very cool. You know, information architecture, I think it's an aspect of um uh, product development, a lot of questions are also pay um, attention to. So we also need a lot of that here yeah, just to be able to flesh out things and make design in line for development. I'm willing to do that. So okay. if we have we have any future project or any project now we want to work on, I'll just maybe have a personal call to get the briefing and know what to do and start the job. So I'll be willing to contribute on that one. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, beautiful. Beautiful. Then who can I connect to that is already working on the old project? So I can know where I can help also. Okay, um let me draw on this call. <laughs> So Lami is not on this call, but Lami is one person that has been doing some of those kind of like jobs for us, right? So um, I know most of the project from badging to, um, except for Apple's, Lami wasn't really involved in Apple. So from badging to uh, it's not, which she's mainly also involved in. And she's really been the one doing some information architecture work for us. So um you can message Lami, Lami Williams on um, on Slack. All right, you can connect her on Slack. So um just give her it up, connect her. So um I'm not sure if there's anything oh, up now, you. but she can just look me in on whatever is going on already. Perhaps it can also be instrumental to the work um on Apple's or Ogo rather. Yeah. Thank so you. please okay. message us. Um, okay. Then I'll be on the call but I'll make any contribution so my break time my break time is over. But I'll be on the call. Okay, okay. That's fine. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um no yeah, Belema, your hand has been Oh, okay. Okay, I want to say that I'm not, um, I didn't contribute to the AFOS project, so I don't know anything about it. I've been hearing my name and AFOS together, so I just want to clarify that I didn't work oh, on the AFOS project. Are you yeah. Serious? Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so most certainly is a zero, and she's nowhere to be found. It's okay, fine. <laughs> also, really I want to I want to also person. say that I've seen um a church app here in Nigeria. I think CCI has one, and it looks really really good. So I don't think it's only white people that do that. There's a church app in Nigeria. Yeah, CCI has one. The church oh. has an app and a web platform as well. Yeah, no, I think um the question was who works on like the church app or stuff, but I have actually seen my church has one for the app on <laughs> web, right? So um a lot of churches, right? I don't think it's kind of like a new thing. A lot of churches these days they do just have mobile applications that mainly for streaming most times and all that. You know, so oh, but I, I it's not really common to see designers right work on church applications. I think that was what media was trying to say. So I don't know, but the truth is that people actually work on them, but it's not really common to see even when um designers are chilling their works on uh X and stuff, you hardly see people post that they are working on a church, it's usually on fintech app or Web three and all that, so nobody really wants to do the church thinking. Maybe the church are not really very good paying clients. I don't know why, but <laughs> okay. So um, that's about it. I think I also want to mention. Okay, maybe you want to say something. <laughs> yeah, um, elaborating on that, not seeing um a lot of church apps. I um, 
I, I'm, I, my mind is kind of open now because ever since I saw someone that, um, this in, that, um, designing LAPO microfinance bank app, I was like, okay, maybe maybe the things are different these days because I, I know that LAPO was notorious for not having any app and people would have to go to the bank to to borrow money. And like I, I don't I don't know if you guys know no no lapo microfinance, like you can't run away with your money, they'll get your money back <laughs> by force by fire. So I when, know, when I I know about the app, yeah. yeah. So, wow. so I think there can be an app for anything. I, I, I go to an Orthodox church, so most times it's just is it, uh, the highest most most orthodox church, churches have these days is because of the pandemic, it's just a YouTube channel and maybe they stream live on Facebook. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, yeah, but well, this day, you know, we just up every and anything <laughs> for accessibility reasons and stuff. Um, okay, we probably wouldn't have to create one for payers, no needs. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, Felix, okay, I, I forgot to mention. Even while you were here, uh, actively here, maybe I think uh, Felix was also supporting you and doing some work with you on our post. So you might also want to connect with Felix because Felix was on that call uh, together with me and um, uh, Wisdom. Yes, man. Yeah. So I think it was just a pair of us, you know, just having that discussion for our post project. So you might want to connect with him. But for now, um, Felix, any Thing you're working on as a result of that, that our conversation that day or any any other thing you want to share please hi felix are you there oh hi good morning can you hear me yeah oh, loud on the air it seems it's not raining where you are <laughs> it's raining but it's just drizzling it's not that serious yeah, um I think yeah, yeah. As at that fitting, yeah, I'm working on I'm actively working on although I didn't start until recently. Um I think from that discussion we only had I only I, I realized we have just about four pages left. Right. So I'm working on I'm actively, I'm actively working on two right now. So which is which I said I started recently. So um and it's I don't know. You know, we, we discussed about the about us section of that of that uh, page. I think that is needed. So I don't know if anybody can if anybody is uh, free to reach out, um if you have any time on their hand they can reach out and take some of those pages and work and work on them. But it just is not much work, I promise you. So anybody that is um, you know. That uh, maybe God touched their heart <laughs> can reach out to to help yeah. out. So that is basically you all have heard Felix Mary B. You heard Felix B. So we are ready to <laughs> try to be hands and design Mary B. Okay, so um, Belema probably this is an opportunity to to eventually in. <laughs> So I don't just keep calling your name for working on Alphos or you don't do anything Alphos related. But yeah, it's cool. So you've heard from it. So anybody, you know, available to jump on um Alphos, maybe about us or any other page, Felix will dish out, right? So you can reach out to Felix, right? Yeah. All right, I I will do that. But then since they've already gone far, do you think I'll be yeah. able to like understand the whole scope of the project and all mess it up like um, they've already gone like really really far well uh for my involvement um apples is pretty simple and straightforward right so you don't have to worry about that yeah so so just just think with um with felix right so Oh, so I, I don't think it's just going to be super complex, right? So just think oh, okay. So, yeah. So if it's something... I will after call, this call. Send, Felix, I'll send you a message after the call. 
Okay, go ahead, please, please. Okay, okay. Um, I don't know who was worried. So it's there, yeah, like uh, Kinsley said, it's pretty straightforward. So I don't even mind if you have the time. I can jump on a call and quickly onboard you. It's, it's very straightforward. It's not uh, it's not complex. So I have the time to do that if anyone is interested. So that is what I wanted to say. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm also right. interested. So after the call, after the call, I'll I'll reach out to you. Then we could decide to have a meeting. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. I am loving this. Thank you so much. Um. Okay. So, I think that's kind of like um uh, about about it, right? Um. And then there's also an open call, right? We started off this year. Okay, Mary B, you can go ahead, please, before I continue. No, please, rock off. Thank you. I would go when you're done. Really? Your hand is raised. You want to say something? Okay, I mean, now that you say, I, like, you forced me to now say something. Or, well, yeah, I just wanted to... um to remind us to um, <clears throat> please always send in your um, your contributions, right? So we have this um, we have this repo, right? That you know you can send in no code contributions to, right? So um, yeah, this is just a reminder that that. Um, that stuff is still really active and you can always send in your contributions. I would get the link now so that you see what it looks like and, you know, um, yeah. That's cool. Awesome. You know, I personally forget that myself, right? So it's also cool that, you know, you share your this thing, you know, add to your contribution too. So if you're working, for example, if you're working, okay, yeah, I'm coming maybe. So if, if let's say you worked on a, a certain store on Figma, and then you can easily share the link, if not the design, share the design, the link to that workspace and specify it, right? So in a way, it's just kind of like also indicating that you've contributed to this, right? And um, that's probably gonna go as a PR request. And then, you know, when being reviewed and accepted, so, um, okay, yeah, me did please go on. Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt. I just wanted to ask if you could please also share it to the um design channel. Yeah, that's good. So that uh, this um just share that, and then I think once that I'm gonna pin it to the Slack channel so that anyone can have. Yeah. Okay, just just more emphasis. Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry, Kitsley, go. Go ahead. Yeah, I, just I was just about saying, why am I not seeing my name here? Oh, okay. I know, right? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, guilty too. So just, just more emphasis. I mean, you know, we, we can't, um, what's it called, track no code contributions. And this is just an idea from the um, community management um, working group to also help um us no code contributors keep track of our contributions right um you can easily take that pool um what's sorry what they call the link to that repo and you know if, if anybody wanted to like see some of the works you've done in open source in the past um that could be an easy way to like track you know everything you've done so um we are really sorry it's not perfect like having to um take credit for the work that you have done like self credit yourself um we're really sorry but uh, we hope that in the future we can <laughs> have like you know something more um better but for now this is what we have i assume that's the pain of being a non-code contributor well yeah we are not here for well maybe just me <laughs> Everybody wants to be celebrated anyway. So please let's all try to, you know, submit uh, this thing from time to time. All right. So um it could be the link, I think, that will be submitted. 
yeah, so get the link. Uh, but you can also reach out to Mary B to get more clarification on that, right? So, um, okay, I don't know where I was going to say something, but I was just about saying that um, we started a project this year, and one of the projects uh, around branding, right? Doing more work around branding, chaos and. Uh, creating other assets and merchandise, right, that can be used, right, both printable and non-printable assets. Um, and then working around things like um, having a more robust um, brand style guide, right, that reflects things like imagery and uh, illustrations, right, having a variety of fonts we can play with when it comes to designs so of maybe flyers and other stuff. And um, what else? So, so the plan was to create a more robust um, uh, brand style guide. But I, I got some cool guys to start working on it, but um, I I think it, some of them just got busy and not been able to continue with that. I know most of us here are um either product designers, right? or UX researchers, right? But if you also have a thing for branding, right? You can also connect with me. Let's see how we can um, push that and close that part of the project out. I think I have a dilemma already for for illustration. So um, any other person with any other um, uh, design skills, design, product design, you can hit me up, right? So let's just see how we can handle that. And also, I also want to re echo this, though I had a, a, a brief sync with uh, Belama yesterday. So there was this stuff um, Elizabeth posted on the channel. So um, that's Belama is on this. Let me pass it to it, Belama. It's there in the open. So, so yeah, yeah, she's, you know, you're working on the timeline uh, for that chaos website. So, yeah, I think that's just about it. And um, I don't know if any other person has something to share. So, or if you also have friends too, a uh, brand designer's friend that is looking for open source projects to contribute to, you can do well to onboard the person on chaos and then I I can connect to the person, right? So we can push even uh motion graphics, you know, the designer looking for. I think what most of these guys, because sometimes I also meet people like this out there and they are job hunting and they particularly don't really have something they're doing. So for me, um no, kind of like, it doesn't really sound selfish, but for me, I think it's just best if the person can contribute to open source and then you get to work on a variety of things, right? And these projects are live, these things you're working on are live are out there. Uh, like for example, the go uh, um, I do have these ideas, like this crazy idea is always coming to my mind, right? Especially about improving chaos. Uh, we've been having this podcast, this uh, chaos car series. And I recall seeing that post on LinkedIn. Um, to be honest, like I felt like, you know, sometimes when you post things online, it depends on how you post them, right? Then you may get the some good engagement. Right? So I just felt like it was just bland in a way, just the way to just post that. But if you have emotion designer do something right that sort of like reflects you know podcast right you know thingy uh, there's a way it's usually been done and then it's been published you know people want to kind of like click on it or even if you don't listen just like because you like the way things are jumping around the way things look All right so um so if you have friends that are motion designers right um that want to try out things all right, then you can definitely as into China community, you know, and I have some ideas you can work on something. All right. So that way they can also build portfolio for themselves. So if you also have brand identity designers, right, who are also interested in joining the community, just let them I have tons of stuff about uh, like what we can work on. 
but I can't do all these things alone. So, <laughs> so I, I, I need, I need, I, most of us here are, are product designers, amazing product designers. We need brand editing designers, we need visual designers, we need motion designers, we need more illustrators and all. Well, Sam, thank you so much for joining in today. Thank you for making our time, especially Lagosians and been running cats and dogs in Lagos. Um, I know it's cold, cold morning, and having to just join the call is not easy. <laughs> but thank you so much. Yeah, Mide, go ahead, please. Um, I, I don't want to like waste anybody's time, but I just want to like ask a quick set um question. Uh how 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 have you has anyone like been facing like um difficulties getting getting jobs and how have you like overcome that? Have you like applying for jobs these days has been so ridiculous like linkedin is now a social media app no one even bothers to go there again to search for jobs it's just to go there to boast like how i, I see now nowadays i see senior designers posting like mad on twitter like there is no tomorrow i'm like ah, this so it, it, sometimes it's it's overwhelming and, and it's underwhelming at the same time so I, I don't know if there's anybody that has found an app that they can share if a friend of mine was telling me that should even bother um designing fintech apps or um health apps or coffee apps or any other apps that should just focus on AI I should go to YC find um platforms um just in companies there redesign their websites message them and see how I can strike a deal with them that that's how people are making money these days AI is a new way forward so I just want to like I just want to share that and ask if anybody has their own ideas because it's tough outside now like it's, it's, it's crazy and, and guys now are having like three jobs four jobs at the same time and uh, some of us barely have one so i just want to like ask that I, I don't want to like turn this into a therapy session but i i know that some of us need help and i also need help too wow that's that i i can feel that bro but the last line i just couldn't hold it he said some guys have taken four ways some of us barely have one <laughs> damn Okay, so I, I okay, I'm just gonna pause and um also gear all that feedback. Like, come on, this is actually one of the things we're supposed to be doing. I think I did mention this on one of our last calls that um uh, in case you're working somewhere and then there's an opening as a designer, right? Like back then, I used to I, I work with an agency where we had like three different designers. So, and sometimes we do have opening for designers. So if you're working in a company or working with anywhere, even as a non-designer, and then there's an opening or stuff, I think it's just cool to just always kind of like share it with your first community being chaos, just drop, could be the work link. You can just drop it on the channel. Or if you know anybody specifically in the channel that needs a, a job, you can also DM, send it to the person. You know, I think I did that recently for... Uh, Felix, one of the Felix Ayola, you know, he, he was working on um this thing. So I, I think he we kind of like had conversation around this line. So I think there was an opening I saw, you know, that relates to his own field. So I, I just shared something specifically to him. So um but I'm just gonna pause here and allow any other person with contributions and maybe I'll just come in later. Um any Person that I want to, you know, share anything with regards to what Mide just mentioned. Okay. Personally, I, I don't have much to say, <laughs> but I have, I think the hack your friend shared is actually a very valuable one, right? And um, one other thing that I've seen work for a few other people that around me is called DMN. Some of these founders, but I mean, you, you you have to like do your research first to be even sure that the solution you're trying to provide is there's a problem for it in that company. So yeah, those code DMs, um, via LinkedIn. Um, I mean, sometimes you have to pay for the premium, right? So you have to give something to be able to get something. Then you know that that um idea from your friend or suggestion is very very good. Then another thing is just, you know, um, just making it known that you are job hunting, really. Um, in the past, when people tell me, oh, they're job hunting, and I come across an opportunity, I just, you know, I send it to them. 
right directly i don't have to start saying oh um um you know this this is open apply if you want i just send it to them so recently a friend who is a backend dev um one of my chapter leads happened there happened to be a role in a company for a backend dev right in you know in a very cool like in euros that's what they're about to be well, right so and I, I knew this was in it wanted i just so that yeah i have someone i took the opportunity to idm straight up i didn't have to ask that maybe oh someone that i know wants to recruit do you have anyone because i know this person so and if she didn't make it known to me i wouldn't have known so just being more open about that oh your job hunting you never can tell who would um refer you or recommend you to an opportunity then just be good with folks really <laughs> just be good with folks um you know sometimes opportunity will come their way and they will think of you and they can you know share, share with you or even like putting words for you that you know making sure that you get that role eventually so yeah i think i think that is it there's some people i just migrating to um, um up work now doing freelance stuff right um because you know having to work with uh, like a proper company is not difficult so uh, we just try some of these things and see the one that works out. Okay. Um, thank you so much, Mary B. Anyone else want to say something? Okay, I have a few things to say. Like um I am they mentioned the the work market is mad, like it's crazy. Yeah. So currently I'm job hunting too, but I feel one of the best things to do is to invest heavily on your LinkedIn, like Mary Blessing said. Though the um, LinkedIn subscription is quite expensive, it's like 98,000 a month, so it's very expensive. So even if you do not have money for that, you could actually just keep posting, grow your audience, grow your content, make yourself valuable on LinkedIn. Because most times when you apply for jobs, they end up going back to your LinkedIn to check if you are good enough so i i feel you should just like invest in your linkedin and your online presence like just show up show up what you do talk about what you do create educational content surrounding your work and people might actually reach out to you so even when you send those code emails and they go through your profile they see that you're actually um someone that knows what you're doing so i think that's what i can just advise because i'm trying to do that myself too yeah. Um, okay, you, beautiful. Oh. Um, okay, so um, can I say something now? Yeah, I love the age. <laughs> um, don't look at your old side. <laughs> but okay, um, I think um everyone just made a cool point, all right? Maybe and Belema made a cool point. But um, we are just in times where it's almost like you just have to do everything together all at once, <laughs> right? And um, and eventually um, everything just comes together, but not as if independently like these individual things that have been mentioned can. Well, there's a possibility that only LinkedIn can get you the job, but so much. Like, some some designers or of course some job on files are come to say man like LinkedIn isn't what it used to be back then. Well, I'm also of that opinion too because I recall, you know, particularly uh pre-COVID, there were times, you know, I just get I do get a lot of DMs, like direct DMs. I didn't even reach out to these guys. I just get direct DMs, you know, you know, in fact, not just in Nigeria, right? You know. And I recall a guy one time I was like pulled up and I was like, do I because I, I did some remote job then with you know, I think two firms in Germany at the time. And I think from my profile, right, you know, I see if I was in Germany and that uh, there was a role. And I was like, I could do it remotely. So I no, I have to be in person. So I just think maybe because it was well, what my LinkedIn profile was saying to so you. Basically, just as we maybe I was in Germany and stuff. So, but post COVID, that hasn't really been much of the case, right? Because um, it's just a little bit dull, slow these days. I think it still happens anyway, but then it's not like what it used to be back then. 
And um, one, some persons will say the market is saturated. Well, not everybody are just as good as, right? So, and that's also where you just have to stand out, right? Just do certain things to stand out. The YC thing, yeah, it's also cool, right? I've also tried YC, that OIC platform, you know, a couple of times, right? It's also cool, right? You can explore. Not a lot of persons know about that. And um, there's this platform, um, this, um, you can install this um, Apollo, I don't know if it's Apollo, they call it or what, this Apollo the Chrome extension, Apollo, Apollo, whatsoever. Just check with them around that. So you can install it on your Chrome browser. Then when you visit link, LinkedIn, probably see any of this company or even on YC, right? You see the company you would want. Now, besides the general company email, right? You go on LinkedIn, look for the, the founder on LinkedIn, right? So this Apollo app will help you get their, their email, their direct email on LinkedIn. Even when they're on premium, or you can message, message them directly on LinkedIn. So what you do is you get their email uh, with our Apollo app extension, uh, Chrome extension. So um, then you can just use that to follow up, right, on the application you did, you made on YC or stuff. That's for me, day, right? So, um, and then I think I just shared... Um, um this web3 platform kind of like a web3 bounty board right where um you can you know web3 is just quite an interesting space all right so but then most times it also requires you interacting with most dApps right decentralized applications and stuff so you might see stuff around you know community stuff a lot of community management community in moderator, which basically doesn't even need you to be designed to, to handle it, right? Moderating conversations. You can also see design, a lot of design roles on platform bounty. I personally use the platform, you know, I, I think I recently submitted the bounty and stuff. So you can also use it to hunt for like design this thing, uh, work three roles and stuff. So, and then again, it's also, as a designer, it's also cool. It's not really out of place for you to also follow trends, right? Um, AI is also really being a thing, right? You can also play around and explore things around AI, right? You can explore things about blockchain web 3, right? There's just a lot of opportunities in, in web 3, right? But I feel like it's just um, a... a, a a couple of guys that are really milking the work this phase in this country right now. And um maybe probably they were early adopters and stuff. And what usually now happens a lot because most of these uh work to be founders, a lot of them are just all connected. In fact, I learned something recently, right, that also made me start using um the telegram a lot. Right. So if you're a designer, you might also want to um Okay, Mary B. Yeah. Hi. Bye. I think we also have a call. <laughs> we have another call. That's why she's running. I have a call in the next, I think, four minutes. So um, so there are a lot of these Web3 projects on Telegram. And you also find a lot of Web3 founders on Telegram. All right. So you might want to create like a channel on Telegram where you just put up like a channel where you have mostly your Web3 related jobs, right? Where you can easily message these founders there are a lot of meme tokens that have been launched and all that i just see simple and basic websites you know and but all i would just want to say is that um uh, me they also try to pay uh, some attention to that space right because you don't have i think the barrier of entry is just about understanding the technology that's why a, a lot of person just run away from that space so the barrier that's just the barrier of entry right it's nothing really different from um web two but then for you to on <laughs> for you to work on web three products right you need to understand how um adapts works right you yourself you probably should be able to transact do basic transactions you know you know what is slippage when you're swapping and all that you are just slippage you know all those things you know have you used p2p yourself you know, and all that, and then hash, you know, some of these basic terminologies in 
in the space, right? You need to also know. I know there was one with three role I applied for at the time. I didn't get the circle anyways. Um, they asked if um the gen tool that I've used. I think they asked me of the gen tool that I've used. You know, they are funny, you know. Yeah, I, and I mentioned a couple of them because I've used them myself, right? So these are just some of the basic knowledge besides, like you need a lot of this knowledge besides design, you know, beside the design, because you have the design knowledge already. So Web3 is not like you're learning a, a new set of design for those of us that are not familiar. You are not learning another set of design. It's just that there's just a knowledge, knowledge you need to have about the Web3 space. Ah, this all was still recording. <laughs> okay, so uh, maybe we can still have um, uh, maybe another like, much later, we can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation around that maybe. So we we'll probably share a lot more. Uh, so let me just allow every other person, you know, go. And I think I have another call to jump on. But I don't know if this was in any way helpful. But like I said, we can have a one-on-one -on -one chat about this or call maybe. Yeah, to so I can share more. So yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for joining in. I. Like this was really insightful. I personally also learned um a lot from us here. Yeah? And um thank you so much for joining in. And I look forward to having this um after next week with us again. So do enjoy the rest of your week and please let's just take note of our action points. Yeah.